trying to take this as a sign that these girls are going to start laying eggs again. They're very chatty. We've got cherry tomatoes and organic power greens today for their lunch. Is it a good lunch, Randall? making her mohawk go up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's singing. She's so cute. Are you in on the action too, Phoenix? You can hear the songbirds. What's on today? They're making a mud slop pit in the front of the store, so I just decided to, Brandon suggested we just cover it with snow. Well, we'll see what they do with it. They're so curious. God bless a farm cat. Always love attention. documentation they're playing exploding kittens third day in a row no <laughs> so Brandon's out here trying to unearth the bus because it's stuck in ice underneath <laughs> Oh boy. She's getting so good at her silks. <laughs> Having a little lunch. But look at this. I mean, you can see how much it's melting. It is crazy. But it's still one big ice bike. Okay, so this let me just give you a disgusting visual here. So this is all like old duck and chicken poo that's now sitting on top of melting ice. So I'm scraping layers away and putting it up here for now until it melts and then we'll put this in the compost. But it's just, it's melting so fast that I have to come up here a couple times a day, sometimes just to clear out the next layer. But yeah, we have a good two feet of snowpack ice still to go down out here. So I've been chiseling it away because the turkey doesn't like to jump down that far. So I have to unearth some particle board. I think that's what that is, uh, OSB, to put down here is like a little ramp for her because she's so big and that jump is fine for the ducks because they can fly a little bit but she's yeah, she's a basket case oh my goodness can you tell they want their worms i better go get them some worms all right look at them they're all waiting are you waiting so patiently okay come on then come on Let's see if i don't slip first here you go, Abby. You want to give those to them? Sure. How many handfuls? I'll help her. Uh, let's just give them maybe four. Give Randall a little bit to make friends with him.
They are itching for some bugs. They know it's coming soon. Okay, here's the last sample, guys. I can't wait to show you guys when they run out in the morning. When this is all thawed and the worms have all been, you know, up at the top of the surface. And they'll come out in the morning because it gets so cold here overnight that the worms don't go back in their hole right away. So they come out and they just feast. So you can tell they're getting ready. But these ladies, they need to start laying some eggs. They have not laid eggs. Do you want to go give the turkey some inside? Sure. Okay. Uh, they haven't laid any eggs for us since we got back from our trip. Maybe one or two here and there. But I had to buy eggs, y'all. That is just not okay. All right. Time to clean out the duck house. Just came out here screaming. Now he's gonna go back in. What a turd. Oh, God bless kids. <laughs> Abby's wearing her new Ariel Silks, Jennifer Wilkins. You guys should go check out her videos. She's so awesome. Quite the performer, but that's her instructor. And she just got the sweatshirt today, even though it's blazing warm out here with the sun. She's sticking with it. She's doing such a good job. The ducks are impressed. We're testing him to see if he's going to Oh, I hear somebody laying an egg, Randall. Gotta go check it out. <laughs> I'm coming. Yep, I, th I think we speak chicken. Hey, I'm laying an egg. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Get out of the way, ducks. To us, this is the most disgusting thing, and look who loves it. Happiest ducks in all the land. Okay, so earlier I had Abby bring me in some um, hay for the nesting boxes. As you can see, nobody in them. And you heard Betty, or Easter, so I came in here. Hi Easter, there's Easter. Look who I found. What is going on in there, Miss Betty? That is not a nesting box for you, but I'm gonna let it be. Because you're too cute. No, don't, not me. <laughs> I can't be in this. That's not my good side. So, yeah. Had to put a little tire barrier here. Look at all this, though. I have to come in here tomorrow and shovel all of this out. How gross is that? So, these girls are probably going to be heading to freezer camp. <laughs> in the next couple weeks so kind of need to get this cleaned out a bit oh hi hi there oh hi. oh thank you yep thanks well i'm dirty now i guess we'll just go for it huh should we just go for it yeah. are you a silly pig are you a silly pig <laughs> oh, I know. Hi. What about you? What do you have to say? Do you want to say hi too? Come here then. Hello. 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 Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Gotta love these pigs.
right? Yeah, you're so cute. Good morning, chickens. What you guys doing down here? Wow, they have ventured. <laughs> they haven't been down here since last year. Oh, Phoenix, what now? What are you gonna do? Randall will take you on. Oh, what a beautiful morning, that sun shining. So great. Randall was just down here with his ladies and now he's keeping me guard. He's he's paced back and forth by me about three times. I'm just letting him chill. But he keeps coming back and forth like, okay, I'm going to test you. Are you going to do something? Are you going to go after us? We just got to earn each other's trust, right, Randall? So handsome. Tell it's feeling good out. Look at the beautiful sky today. Isn't it so great? Hardly any clouds. No airplanes. Just taking a walk with the boys. Did you get a mole? You're such a good boy. I don't think it tastes very good. Good boy. That's why we have farm cats. All right, so haven't updated you guys on the birds for a while. These are the Keats and our tan, California Tans. They're getting some really cool markings, some of these California Tans, but I'm a little, little nervous that we've got a little Mr. Rooster here and a rooster there. You can see they have definitely bigger tail feathers than the other two. And they are a little more bossy too. So we're gonna keep an eye on those guys, but oh my goodness, these Keats, look at how big they are. They just sprouted and they're not stopping. So we're gonna get these guys out of this tiny tote. I was hoping to do this in like a week, but I don't think we can. I think we're gonna have to move them somewhere else. I don't know. We're gonna have to get creative because look at how, I mean, they don't have hardly any room in here and it's, been the last couple days that they've just shot up. So, um, but I'll bring you up and show you why we need to wait per se. Okay. So this is just, I don't have words. Yep. Another five inches. So you can tell something's going on. So we brought home yesterday two new ducks. These are Swedish ducks. And we have not named them yet. They are a pair, a male, female. But they're all just chatting with each other. So yeah, more on that later. Alright, so it's been a good week, but now we have snow. Wah wah. Yesterday was pretty glorious and we were outside a lot of the day, so it's all right, but we're definitely ready for spring. So these girls are actually going to be harvested next weekend. So I'm just out here giving them a little extra attention and making sure they're happy and healthy. All the good things these guys are actually spoken for. So it's going to be a different kind of experience for us this time around. But yeah, hopefully this is the last of the snow and then we can start mud season which you can see the pigs have already started on their own so hope everybody else is getting really good weather everybody's healthy and happy and with that we'll talk soon